For Sarah Sealing, this is more than just a game of solitaire. I had surgery because I had a pinched sciatic nerve. That surgery required Sarah to be under general anesthesia. But several weeks beforehand, Sarah began training her brain. The idea was that, you know, an active mind is a protected mind. Dr. Humidian gave patients iPads with a commercially available brain game app already loaded. She asked patients to play the games an hour a day for a total of 10 hours or more before surgery. There were word games and number games and hand and eye coordination games. You're exercising your brain, your, your neurons, your neurofunction, so neurobics is, is where that term came from and we decided to run with that. Researchers found the patients who did their neurobics were 40 percent less likely to have post-operative delirium and the results improved the more hours patients played. Humidian says along with neurobics, she recommends patients take these steps before surgery. Stay hydrated, remain active, and take a walk every day, read every night, and pick up a hobby. I always enjoyed this part because there's embroidery on it. For Sarah, embroidery and quilting help her stay focused. You know, I didn't want to have uh, hallucinations or whatever after the surgery. I had never heard of that, but I didn't want to have that to happen to me. Doing neurobics and other simple steps to protect seniors from delirium. I'm Marty Salt reporting.